Shelby, aka simply Shelby. Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm doing a what I eat in the day healthy girl edition. I am on a calorie deficit because I'm trying to get snatched for summer. But if calorie deficit type of talking is triggering for you, please feel free to click off. I don't want to trigger anybody. If calorie deficit stresses you out or anything like that. Also this calorie deficit that I got, I would say it's from my trainer. So I didn't come up with it myself. It's based on like my body composition and everything like that, what she recommended to me based on basically the weight that I want to lose and my goal weight that I want to be at. My calorie deficit for myself is to eat about 1350 calories a day. So give or take, you know, some days I eat a little more, maybe some days I eat a little less. It just depends on the day. So today I'm gonna run through some healthy meals that stay within my calorie deficit, but also that are gonna taste good. So let's get into it. Let's first address the elephant in the room. If you see me making food and you look at this finger, look white, please. Okay, don't look at her. She is shameful, okay? Don't look at this finger. Last time a new nail lady did my nails and I feel like I've got lost two nails in the time span. I had to go get one fixed already. And that's not cool. Like normally my nails last six weeks. This time, three weeks max. It was not good. So don't look at this nail. If you see her, ignore her. But let's get into lunch. First meal I wanna make is a little tuna on toast. I feel like tuna on toast has been my jam. It is a healthy, I would say relatively high protein meal. And it's easy to make, easy to throw in the oven or however you want to toast your bread. I put my toast in the oven because I don't have a toaster, but it's pretty easy. So let's get into making the tuna toast. The bread that I'm going to be using, I don't know if they sell this in the US, to be honest. I haven't bought groceries in the US in a while because I do live in Toronto, Canada, if anyone is not aware. This is by Stone Mill. It is a San Francisco style sour bread. I like this brand because they had a lot of multi-grain breads that I was trying, but basically two slices is 160 calories. And sometimes I feel like when I'm just eating one slice of bread, I feel quite sad. So this one is two slices for 160 calories, which I think is really good. And I like this sourdough style because I feel like it tastes really good with the tuna toast. So let's get into making it. We have the tuna toast, which is a go-to meal of mine. And let's just figure out how many calories it is because I am trying to track for today. I don't track every day because sometimes I feel like I get in this cycle, but let's just look up like chunk tuna. And I used to be able to scan the scanner, but now it makes you pay. I don't know if that's just in Canada or what, but basically I'm going to log the chunk tuna can it says it's about 70 calories per can we're gonna put in some qp mayo about a tablespoon i would say we're gonna put in some dijon mustard qp is about 100 calories so with that being said we got our dijon mustard which is five-ish calories dijon mustard isn't much at all and then we're gonna put our sourdough bread i am eating two slices so i'm gonna put two in so roughly, I'm not gonna put in the dill because it's a spice, right? It's a seasoning, just a little dill. I, I don't need to count the dill. But basically, with just the lunch, that is about 305 calories is what I'm getting on my fitness pal app. So 
you can screenshot that if you are curious but if this is an easy meal for you definitely try it out i am gonna enjoy my lunch and watch some love island all-stars let me know if you're watching love island all-stars the tea is hot okay messy mitch is out there he's creating a mess but i'm gonna eat my lunch enjoy and then i'll be back i want to make a little healthy snack that i can eat at nighttime which are these basically healthy snickers bars that you use with dates so i'm gonna make the little healthy snack and then for dinner later i'm gonna make chapche which is like a korean noodle dish so let's make those later but i'll check back Back in in a little bit and let me enjoy lunch. Happy to be here at home with her. Mom, will you come? Okay, I'm back from a walk with bubbles. Now it is healthy Snickers time. Okay, once you try this recipe, you ain't gonna go back. Trust me, it is a good healthy alternative to a Snickers bar. If you're craving something sweet after dinner, it's my go-to. So I'm gonna prep it now. That way after dinner, I can eat it and just be happy, you know? So this is a recipe where you need medjool dates. I prefer medjool dates. If you can get them pitted, that would be better. My store doesn't sell the big pack in pitted or yeah pitted right where they take it out anyways mine are whole so that's it i got some dark chocolate chips these ones are hershey's chip it so i got the dark chocolate chips and then you need a nut butter of your choice i like to use crunchy peanut butter if i have it or peanut butter preferred i have tried it with all butter i'm not a big fan of the almond butter with it you could try it with any type of nut butter that you want and get some sea salt that you're gonna top it off with so let's get into making it first things first let's wash the hands you're gonna need yourself a little pan or something that you can stick in to the freezer so i'm gonna use this pan and put some parchment paper over it i love this recipe because it's pretty simple and it's really satisfies that craving i haven't checked the calorie count i am quite curious i probably will look it up online the recipe and then see what other people put for the calorie count but it can't be too bad i mean dates are i would say they have like healthy sugars 27 grams of sugar but you know it's better than just eating whole sugar i i think you know i could be wrong i'm not a nutritionist but i think so i got way too much stuff back there get yourself a mason jar or something that you can use to squish down the dates i'm gonna wrap it in some saran wrap that way the dates don't stick to the item that you're gonna use to squish the dates down but basically you need this to help you and this recipe went viral on my tiktok so you've probably seen it so you can just look up date bar on tiktok and you'll see a ton of recipes below it's super simple i keep it very simple some other people i feel like they're doing too much with it but we're gonna keep it really simple so i'm gonna squish down my dates first before i melt the chocolate so as i mentioned these are whole so they have the seed inside let me go like this so these have the seed inside so we're just gonna open the knot and lay them out for now. You could probably take a knife. I think these, I thought they used to be cut already, but anyways, we're just gonna take out the pit or the seed and pop it on the side. And basically you wanna fill the whole tray with the dates as many as you can. So let me just speed up through this process a little bit. dates are all peeled out we got all the seeds here you want to smash the dates so with that can or whatever you're using mason jar wrapped with saran wrap you just want to squish the dates now they still might stick to the saran wrap which is really annoying but the dates are really sticky basically you want to make sure that they get squished together and are as flat as you can get them now these ones today that i'm working with are very sticky and you kind of want to make sure you don't have too many gaps in between them so i'm just going to squish them down and today yeah they're so sticky okay so i basically got mine flat and now i need to heat up my chocolate chips while i do that so then i can put the peanut butter first but I'm gonna do about half this bag. This bag is 225 grams. So I'm gonna do about half the bag of chocolate chips. I'd say it's about a cup of chocolate chips. 
into my jar or bowl, whatever microwave or bowl you have. And let's pop it in the microwave. I do about a minute. I start to see how melted it gets. If your peanut butter is solid, if you keep it in the fridge and it is too hard to spread out, you should get yourself some melted peanut butter. So melt, I would say about a cup of peanut butter since I am kind of measuring with my heart. I'm not gonna do the full thing but let me open this up. And I got a crunchy peanut butter, like I said. It, this one is brand new, so it should spread on here easily, but I need to mix it up first. I like the crunchy because people say you can put nuts on here, like crush up nuts, but if you get crunchy peanut butter or like crunchy almond butter or whatever nut butter you're gonna use, at least if it's crunchy, then you have the nuts on it, so you don't have to do that. So let me spread it out. Basically, you want a good even layer all across your dates of peanut butter and chocolate. So I need to pour a little bit more out and just spread it all around. Now let's check on the chocolate. Let's see, the chocolate chips still look fully formed, but once I mix it, it melts. So I might have to put it in for a little bit more to make sure it fully gets melted or it might all melt actually. Looks like it's melting here. So let's just keep stirring. And this you could get yourself a spatula if that's easier. I'm going to see what I can do with this knife since I already have it out. And just pour it on top of your mixture. Once you got it spread out like this, you want it all even, you are going to get some sea salt and sprinkle it on top. I just have this coarse sea salt here you can use. I would use flaky sea salt if you have it. I just couldn't find flaky sea salt for the life of me. Sorry, why am I blocking? I'm blocking the view, I'm blocking the best part. So now we're gonna salt bay it and put some salt on here like this. Use as much or as little salt as you want. I might put a little bit more because I love like salty dark chocolate, but let's spread it on here. Maybe some more on this side. Oops, I'm getting salt all over you guys. Not good, not good. Okay, some more over here. Bam, pop it off. Here is the creation. Now I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator or the freezer actually, not fridge, the freezer. Basically, you would want it to sit for about 30 minutes until it gets hard. You don't want it too hard because sometimes then you have to wait and it's, it takes you longer to actually eat it. But because I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna make dinner and this is my after dinner dessert, I'm gonna put it in the fridge. What I do wanna look up really quick is the calories for this. So let's see date bar if I can find it on Google really quick. Okay, on this recipe, it says one tenth of it is about 149 calories. So that's pretty good. Like even if you ate one little chunk or so, that's not bad. So I'm gonna put this in the freezer and I'll be back when it's dinner time. I am back to make dinner, but basically before dinner, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I need like a good pre-dinner snack. So I got my Boom Chicka Pop kettle corn. This one's really good. I love the kettle corn. Um, just a Coke Zero. I feel like by this time of day, I just need a little bit of caffeine from the Coke Zero. I know that drinking sugar-free it's not always the best option, but it's zero calories, so it's working for me right now. And I am just gonna log it into my fitness pal before I finish the snack, and then I will start cooking. I did start boiling some water, that way I can cook the noodles faster, but let me log my Coke Zero. If anyone else has like a pre-dinner snack, let me know what that is, because I don't think I can survive without it. So one cup, of the Boom Chicka Pop, or what's this stand here? My bad. I'm being so annoying right now. Three and a half cups is 270 calories. One cup is 80 calories. So with that being said, that is such a good thing. So I don't know, I measured freely. I'm gonna put it in as like two cups. I might be skipping 
skipping out on it but you know i need to eat my snack before i go crazy let me look up kettle corn boom chicka pop kettle corn i'm gonna put two in there and let's see how many calories we are at so far we are at about 585 i got 847 remaining so i'm gonna eat this little snack pre-dinner snack and then i will make the dinner for the dinner i think i'm gonna try to just show y'all the view of me cooking and then probably put text on what i'm doing that way you know what steps i'm taking and i'll try to link the recipes that i'm using down below that way you have a reference for this so let me enjoy this and then we'll get to cooking y'all i've literally done it again i made dinner for like a family of six and my mom always makes fun of me because i make so much food i don't even know why it's so hard to make like such a small portion but here's my chapche let me show you it looks delicious i think i'm gonna add some sesame seeds on top i feel like that would make it be tasty but oh my gosh it looks so good i can't wait to plate it and eat it so let's do that Oh, I am so hungry. Okay, I'm gonna use my cutie bowl. I made this in a little class where you get to paint your own pottery. So this is my cutie little bowl that I'm so excited to use. So let's scoop some up here. I also need to make bubbles dinner now that he is awake, but let's scoop it up. I think this roughly is about 400 calories. I'm gonna look it up in my fitness pal, just use like a generic one, but I believe the recipe that I'm using with honey it's about 400 calories and you can pack it with so many veggies obviously you saw the veggies that i used today but you could put more veggies you could put more protein it's really up to you you could try alternative noodles like shirataki noodles or kelp noodles if you don't want the potato starch noodles this is my chapche it looks so yummy let's give a taste test before i have to feed bubbles because his water is boiling for his Food, but let's give a taste. This is my first time making this, so I'm hoping that it's good. Let me get some onion. It's pretty tasty. I could maybe use more soy sauce, but I'm always afraid it'll be too salty. Oh, Bubba's crying, he wants food. I just wanna say, I hope that y'all enjoyed this what I eat in the day type of video. I was gonna help the chapche, so let me look really quick on my fitness pal also why am i trying to close this off i still gotta show you all my date bar after duh that's like the main star of this show today is a date bar there's this glass noodle dish beef bulgogi chop jam it's around 340 calories so i'm gonna add that one for dinner and i might add one more just to 
overcompensate for it in case it is more calories you know in case i'm eating a bigger thing so right now that leaves me with 167 calories remaining which is basically for my date bar after this so let me eat my dinner and then we'll get into the date bar once it's finished i can't wait to show y'all so let me eat It is time to take out the date bar. Even though I'm pretty full, I still gotta show y'all. I'll probably just eat a tiny piece right now and maybe more after, but let me show y'all. Here it is. Ah, it looks fantabulous in all its glory. Yummy. I like to cut it up with a scissors because it's kind of hard to chop or you could just chop it. I might try to chop it, but this is how it looks. It looks fantabulous. Okay, let's chop this baby up. Bubba keeps crying, I don't know why or what his issue is today. I bought him this new toy and I don't think he likes it. I'm gonna see if I can chop it with this. It's pretty hard. I don't think I'm gonna cut it all. I'm just gonna cut the chunk that I wanna eat. Oh, I'm falling. But look at this y'all. So here's the date layer under and here's the chocolate and the peanut butter and the salt. So let's rip some off. Let's see if I can cut it ready okay here it is this is literally the best dessert healthy dessert that i can make this healthy snickers mm. it's so good every time okay now finally with that being said we are finally at the end of the what i eat in the day healthy edition let's log in the last thing to the my fitness pal of the chocolate date bar let's see i'm gonna put this homemade one it is 207 calories on here. I'm just gonna add it. The recipe I showed you all earlier, I think was like 100 something per. So right now it's showing that I'm 40 over, but still basically I would say with my exercise this morning, which I didn't log, like let's see if I log 20 minutes of strength training, even though I did like 40, I always do a little bit less just cause I don't know how accurate it is. It says I basically have 23 remaining. So basically today I ate about 1350 calories and I hope that you enjoyed some of these recipes. If you have healthy recipes that you would like to share with me down below, please comment them down below for me and others to read and learn. And I hope you all had a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Join the show squad, give this video a big thumbs up if you felt the vibes and turn on the post notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video and I'll see you next time. Bye.